Looks like the crowd has dissipated. I also don't see Finley, or Jelly Donut, anywhere. Even her energy has its limits, huh? Hey, cutie. How about some coffee? I've had a real busy day at work. Oh, yep, there she is, this sweet, beautiful princess. I, I do like that that picture. <laughs> Me too, I like yeah. it a lot. It's yeah. probably my favorite it, Finley picture. It's very humanizing. <laughs> yeah. I, I like it a lot. She looks we've, we've all been there. We've yep. all had that, that wor day after work. <laughs> yeah. drinker anyway. It's not bad at all now that I've gotten used to it. The stuff I drink is actually a real shade of tan now. You know, almost. My palate is refining every day. I kind of just want a big old cheese danish or something, though. There's that cornerstone down the road. Been in there for a lot of stuff. Their breakfast pastries look really good. I can also just stop by the cafe. It's closed to customers today, but I bet someone's hanging around who could make me a nice fancy coffee or something. Uh... Just get some from work? I'm guessing that's what it is. It says we can do either. Let's just go to work. Yeah, yeah let's go to work because we've always gone to the corner store for yeah. our plastic for our plastic You plate. know what? Why waste money when I can just get some coffee for free at the cafe? Hell yeah! Yeah! Still not real great on that water coffee grounds ratio, but better I learn with myself than with customers, right? Last time I tried to make coffee was a disaster. It came out like this gross brown water. I need to learn how to do this right. It doesn't look like anybody's here yet. There's some lights on in the cafe and on the floors above, but I don't see anything moving around inside. Maybe I was wrong about people coming here on their days off. Is it really just gonna be me? Hanging out at work like I have nothing better to do? Okay, well, I'll just go make some coffee and then figure out what to do with the rest of my day. Luckily, I just got my key so I can unlock the door and let myself in. Even though there are no people here, the cafe feels busy with all these cats milling around. There's hash browns bossing around some other cats like usual. Now is mixing is mixing eyes at his own reflection. <laughs> Codex and a cute little ball by the window. Marina and Ayn are catching some sun. Aw, Junta has his paw around one of the other cats like they're spooning. Stop! I peek in closer to get a good look and maybe a photo. But when I see that little seal point nose sticking out, I pause. Is that haze? <laughs> Um, what? His ear flicks and one eye shoots open. Ah, I swear it's not what it looks uh, like. Oh, it's not what. Uh, I didn't. I didn't even know that this was uh, happening. Uh, uh, looks like he takes a moment to register what's happening, and when he does, his eyes dilate to the size of saucers. Uh, hey, Avery. His tail puffs up, and he backs away from Junta at a surprising speed. He bumps into the wall and then hops a solid six inches into the air in shock. Hayes, calm down. It's just me. Uh, I, ju I just, I, Junta was crying a lot, and, and, and then I sort of, and oh, oh, don't make fun of me, please. Junta is, wait, he's not there anymore. Anyways, Junta <laughs> is one of our newest cats. He's a sweetheart stray we found wandering the streets, but he scares really easily, so he gets kind of clingy. Why would I do that? He's really sweet of you. Slowly, I reach down and scratch Junta behind the ears. He's confused by all the commotion, but he doesn't seem too stressed about it. But, uh, but, I, I... You're just really thoughtful about the cats. It's great. It's fine. Oh, I guess... My dude, please chill. <laughs> okay, okay. We weren't... I was... We're not... I'm not... I'm not banging the cat. <laughs> ah, ah! Uh, uh, okay, I don't need to know this! I didn't uh, ask! Uh, I'm kind of jealous, actually. I wish I could sleep in a pile of cats. Oh, it is pretty nice. Aw, oh, that's a cute cat face. That is cute. He seems to have calmed down a bit, thankfully. He, f he seems more comfortable as a cat than he does as a human. I think, like, that's his whole thing, yeah, is that when he's a human, he's super just... Ugh, ugh. Yeah, everything is awful and the worst. Yeah. How about some coffee? I could go for a cup. I bet you could. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna change back. Uh, don't look, okay? Sure, okay. Despite being around all these cursed cat people, I've never seen a transformation in progress. Maybe it's not something I'm supposed to see. It's probably as rude and creepy as watching somebody get changed, so I'm not gonna peek. Okay. You want a cappuccino? I can make us some coffee. 
That sounds great, thanks. Score. I don't gotta mess with the coffee machine. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I sink into my favorite spot on the big circle couch and I take a big old sip of my coffee. I could sit here all day, and maybe I will. Oh. Avery, you're here early. Yeah, you know, I thought I'd come see what everybody's doing. I've been cooped up in my house for too long. It's good to see you. I'll be around doing some handiwork, but let me know if you need anything. Oh, don't worry about me. It sounds like you'll be busy enough. And there's the door again. Hello, hello! So, Avery, what breed are you? Do you know yet? I excuse me? The cat! I mean, sorry, is that still like a sensitive subject? Or are you still not over that? <laughs> no, no, I mean, nothing's happened to me since the day I grew the whisker. I figured it would take more time. That's strange. It turned in about a week. Yeah, me too. Hayes nods from the other couch. This wouldn't be the first time I ever is slow on the uptake. Hey, fuck you, Reese. Mm, fuck you too. <laughs> you just Get to work. I'm your boss. Ah, shit. Are you just standing there waiting for a chance to say something like that? Of course not. Yes. He totally was. I was. They're right, though. Playing with that book made me totally forget about the curse. Why haven't I seen any changes since then? Well, I'm gonna go do some laundry. Let me know whenever you find out. I'm betting you'll be like a silver tabby or something really pretty like that. I hope the type of cat I become is human. A human being. Reese rolls his eyes and flops down on the long row of seats to the side of the cafe. He settles in with a spiral-bound sketchbook. Finley picks up a large bag and trundles toward the stairs. Is there a laundry machine up there? Yeah, in Graves' apartment. He lets us do laundry there for free. What? Graves lives here? Yeah, duh. Third floor is his apartment. Shouldn't we see him, like, all the time? He's like a ghost as it is. <laughs> He's usually out until really late at night and leaves pretty early in the morning. <coughs> He's, uh, I don't even think he sleeps. I bet he sleeps in a coffin. <laughs> I mean, he's just really busy. He takes care of all the administrative stuff for the cafe, after all. Hmm. Well, I better get to work. That ramp isn't gonna build itself, after all. Landry gives me a little wave and then disappears See into the back. <laughs> he's back a few minutes later with his hands full of lumber and a roll of carpet. So that's why all that stuff is in the basement. Sorry, it might get a bit noisy in here. No, that's no problem with me. I suppose, if you must. Landry and Reese go back to work. A few minutes later, I hear Finley. I peek up at the balcony, and she's fiddling with a laptop or something. Everybody seems to be keeping themselves busy. Maybe I should help one of them. But on the other hand, I'm not getting paid. So... Whoop! Okay, see what Landry... I'm assuming it's see what Landry's yeah, doing. Yeah, let's see what Landry's doing! Let's get all in that. What is Landry hammering over there? Woo! <laughs> well, it's about <laughs> to be something different, let <laughs> me tell you. <laughs> Said something about a ramp. Hey, uh, what's up? Oh, Avery. Just making some adjustments to the cafe for the newcomers. Oh, cool. Can I help or? No, oh, you don't have to do that. I don't, but I'm gonna. <laughs> he laughs, but he keeps going about what he was doing. I guess that's his way of saying, ha, no. Aw, oh, come on, there's gotta be something I can do. Uh, make sure no cats come over while I'm working? I don't want them to try and play on this until we get a chance to get the carpeting on. This one looks a lot different than the others. The ramp is cute, but do you think they need it? Graves asked me to install these. He said he's bringing in a kitten with hypo... hypoplasia. Oh, what, what's a hyp, hypoplasia? He says it's a condition some cats are born with that affects their coordination. Eh, I don't want the little guy to get hurt trying to jump up on these platforms, so I'm gonna add some ramps to my structures. Aw, oh, I almost didn't catch all of that because he's hammering away while he's talking. Can't even take a break for a conversation, huh? Your structures? Did you make all of these? <laughs> yeah. These are amazing! I thought you were just a charming waiter, but you're so talented. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's no big deal. I'm really grateful Graves gives me a lot of chances to build things like this, though. I'd miss working with my hands if he didn't set up a workshop for me. Graves did that? No answer. He's just hammering away. Uh, uh, uh. Oh! Sorry. Did you see all the saws and things in the corner of the basement? That's for me! Oh! You know, 
Ah, I mean, I assumed he was just dissecting zombies back there. Oh, that's just Tony. <laughs> Avery. <laughs> gives me a light, playful slap on the shoulder. His other hand is still balancing a hammer while popping up the ramp. I fall to the ground. <laughs> I die, bad end. <laughs> Maybe I should take something from him before this becomes a worker's comp case. Can cats even get worker's comp? You're so unforgiving. He's really not a bad guy. Seriously, they're amazing, though. Did you design the whole place yourself? Oh, gosh, no. Most of it was blueprints Graves gave to me. Most of it, you say? I bet there's some of your own personal genius in there, too. Oh, you flatter me. I gave him a wink and a smile, and he's a deer in the headlights. He drops the hammer and quickly fumbles to recover it and himself. It's kind of cute watching him get flustered like that. We all get caught up doing our own thing when I hear footsteps approach from the kitchen. Why, if it isn't the big boss himself? My wonderful cat herders. I see you've been keeping the place well while I've been gone. He looks us over, but his gaze stops on me for a second. He has a weird glimmer in his eye that I can't really place. Ooh. I'm on to you. I know you have something going on with that book. You can't have just been there because you're a collector of something. Heck, it even has our names in it. I don't really understand these pages since the bookmark doesn't work on them, but still, it's gotta be something fishy. Landry? Boop. Excellent work on the cat's equipment, as always. Ah, but I'm not done yet. Have you ever given me reason to doubt? I know you'll do a stellar job. We can talk about future designs soon. Sure thing, boss. Reese, I see you've been keeping your protege in line. Keep up the good work. Of course. Nothing gets past me. The eyes and talon of an eagle. Protege? Are they talking about me? Hayes, my sweet Hayes. Can I trouble you for some of your exquisite coffee? Oh, I'd be happy to. You are a treasure as always. I hope you've been keeping well. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Finley. Finley peeks her head over the upstairs balcony to shout down. Come on, just come downstairs. Present! Your videos are keeping me busy. We hit a whole new attendance record the other day. And six adoptions in two days. The home inspections never end. Oh, I'm sorry you have such a precious, adorable girl here, making your business awesome! <laughs> Jesus fucking sue me, God! Shit! Fuck! <laughs> you are my internet lifeline. I have no head for such things. I bet he's been lost ever since telegrams went out of style. And Avery. And whoa, Ugh. he's real close now. I don't know if I like it, but maybe I do. He puts his hand <laughs> on my shoulder and levels his gaze down to mine. That one blue eye is so chilling. Really is a telltale heart situation. I'm on to you, Avery. Uh. You're the fastest learner we've had here yet. I forget you're still new. I feel like he's not talking about the cafe work. Well, I've been doing a lot of studying. So you have. So you have. He lets go of my shoulder and turns away to the rest of the employees. He was not talking about the cafe. He knows something about that book for sure. I'd ask him more, but maybe it's not a good idea in front of everybody else. I'll chase him down later when he's leaving or something. I'll have to get more information. <laughs> Where's Mason? I wanted to see her today, too. Oh, she she hasn't been showing up as much on days off lately. Maybe she found a comfy gig at an old cat lady's or something. I haven't been to your place in ages, though. <gasps> ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! Yes! Ah! Ah! Okay, well, that's enough of that. Oh, let's just speak through all this and all this, and who cares about that, and... Um, oh, I think this is where the next thing happens. It seems like a good time as any to see if I can find out more about what's going on. I peek back into the main cafe. Looks like everybody's back to whatever they were doing before. The newly arrived Mason has kicked up her feet on the couch and seems to already be dozing off. 
Finley did say we have free access to Graves' apartment after all, so I could go look and see what he's got hiding up there. I'm also kind of curious about what it looks like, but then again, if he was hiding something there, wouldn't somebody have noticed by now? Maybe he keeps all his magic stuff in that creepy basement. I wonder which would be better to search. Hmm. Uh, check out the basement. Oh, that's that's what it is? Mm-hmm. Oh, interesting. Okay. Whoop. Worked the first time, right? I bet that's where all the nefarious stuff is kept. Maybe Graves is a hapless idiot caught up in somebody else's plan. Maybe I'm supposed to think he's a witch, but it's actually somebody else using him as a cover. Wouldn't that be messed up if it's one of the other workers at the cafe? Can't see any of them as the mastermind type, but ah, uh, what do I know? Anyways, I suppose I should prepare myself for some snoopin'. Some snoopin'. Snoopin'! Snoopin'. Man, this place gives me the chills. I mean it. It's like 10 degrees cooler down here than it is upstairs. Now, <clears throat> if I were a witch, where would I hide my witchery and my, um, witching accessories? accessories. Also, witching and witching accessories. Uh -huh. I take a brief walk to the immediate left of the stairs, but there's nothing there but cafe and cat supplies. Maybe the bulk coffee is also ground up and used to make arcane sigils. Or maybe I'm reaching. The right of the stairs has the more interesting stuff anyway. I kneel down to get a closer look at the curio filled with crystals when I hear something creak above me. Aw, oh, crap. Is Graves gonna catch me? No, he left. Hmm, maybe I'm just hearing that. I resume my hunt. Maybe these are magic crystals, or... Creak? Creak? It, is somebody down here? Oh, man, it's just Landry. There's footsteps fall heavy on the creaky steps. Hey, Landry. Oh, it's you. I was worried one of the cats got down here. I think they'd be too creeped out to try it. <laughs> it's just a storeroom. Nothing to be creeped out over, if you ask me. What about all of Graves' curiosities or whatever? Doesn't that weird you out that you have to reach past a rattlesnake specimen just to get a cup of sugar? <laughs> well, when you put it that way. It's his building, though. I guess he just needed storage space for his extra stuff. I'm sure we all have some weird things kicking around in our storage. Uh, is that foreshadowing? Uh, we all have skeletons in our closets, you mean? That sort of a thing? Though usually, less literally than this. Hey, leave Tony out of this. I suppose Tony's so. Tony's lovely, <laughs> I'm just... Uh... <laughs> well, what about you, Landry? Collect anything weird? Bodies, or... <laughs> Organs. <laughs> oh, nothing as exciting as this. <laughs> Although... Yeah? Nah, it's not- DON'T FUCKING DO THIS TO ME! Ah, I gotta know, come on! Well, sometimes when I see a cool looking rock or scrap metal, I pick them up and take them with me. Oh, and then you like, make things out of them, or? No, I just like how they look. So I keep them. That's kind of weird now that I say it. <laughs> That's not weird. I don't know, I think it's kind of cute. Oh! <laughs> I don't know about that. He's getting flustered. It's pretty easy to get worked up, I think. What is your fucking deal? <laughs> I don't know, he's kind of cute what like What is your deal? <laughs> okay, well, now I guess I'll share mine. Uh, I collect tabs from soda cans. I keep them and I put them on a piece of yarn. I had to start over when I moved to the city, but I've been moving right along, don't you worry. My s new string is almost up to my elbow already. Why soda tabs? I mean, that's pretty cute too, but... Oh, no reason. I just, you know, wanted to string up a whole bunch like a garland when I was a kid, and I thought it would look cool, and... I'll keep that in mind. I don't drink much soda, but if I find any tabs, I'll bring them to you. Aw, oh, thanks! If I see any cool rocks, I'll bring you one. <laughs> You're so sweet. And sometime I'll have to come see your collection, maybe. <laughs> sure! Is he... blushing? Aw, oh, that sounded a lot more forward than I meant it to. Uh... So, what were you looking for down here? I guess he didn't notice, or he's changing the subject. Uh, nothing specific, I'm just kinda looking around. Even with everything going on in the cafe, it sounds a little too wacky to just blurt out that I'm looking for magical talismans, or... whatever it is I'm even looking for. Maybe if I had a clear idea of what I was trying to accomplish, but I guess this is just another bust. Well... I just need to grab some materials and get back to work. Want to come with me? Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll be right there. Landry places a roll of carpet in my hands and then scoops up a pile of lumber. He carefully works his way up the stairs, but not without muttering a promise to fix the creaky steps. 
I guess I should call it quits for now and I'm get back up there. I'm gonna fix the shit out of these. <laughs> well, that was a bust, mostly. It's nice to talk to Landry, though. Feels good to be getting closer to everybody here. It's like I finally have a social life, sort of. I guess I'm still hanging out with a bunch of cats one way or another. Back to the drawing table on this curse business. I drift from person to person, helping everybody with what they're doing for a little while, and eventually the urge takes over and I want to play with cats! Yeah, well, Avery, we all want to do a lot of things, okay? But listen to this entire sequence again! It's not one of them. Okay, let's see, we all talk about uh, Grace's band, and uh, we eat the Thai food, and we all make good goofs, and we get closer as a family, and oh, and then you see the scary guy, and oh, oh, I guess that's the end of the episode. Ah, oh, shoot! When you walk away, you won't hear me say, please, oh baby, don't go. Why did we sing that for the bad ending? Why didn't we sing that for the bad ending? Making me feel tonight, it's hard to let it go. That should have been for the... 